Hey yo together and welcome to another episode of the StarCraft 2 Unranked. The last game was very well played. I liked it. I did some minor mistakes which could have cost me the game actually because of my bad macro mechanics but it worked so I'm totally fine with that. And we get another Protoss where I can probably show you I mean I don't plan on it but it probably will happen where I can show you um, how to not play this build I showed you in the last episode uh, yeah so so be be ready be ready to be uh, desillusionized is this the word I don't know I hope it is Yeah, because the, I, I will show you, probably, I, I'm not planning on it, but <laughs> it most likely will happen, on how to lose with my build. Uh, I don't know if I can say my build, it's one build I just figure out for myself and which I play now. And all just because of the Raven, which is a really good unit. Raven is awesome. If you can get a Raven, do it. If you can not sneak in a Raven in your build. I like that they made uh, it happen that you don't have the Raven as a massive castle unit. It was fun to have 1000 auto turrets and seeker missiles and, and, and uh, PDDs. It was awesome, I, I liked it. I, I know most hate me for that or, or disagree. And for the game itself it was bad, but it was fun to play. Uh, to mess around and see your, your enemy just to... Uh, for me it was fun. But I can totally understand if it's not fun at all. So, yeah. And now you, you get one or two raven, maybe three, and that's it, because more is bad. If you get more raven, you're screwed. The, those, they don't add any value to your army, so just don't. Get one raven, maybe three, three at maximum, and that's it. And then you're set to go, and that's fine. But anything more than three raven, I personally wouldn't recommend. Maybe professional uh, gamer. Like, like Maru, TY, Innovation, can, Bian, can tell you different, can say, no, I'm called totally wrong. Mass Raven is awesome, but, but for me, yet I have to see uh, if that's truly the case, and currently that's just not... It's, it's just not true. You see? So, close the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could scout with the Raven, but I know it's an expand, so I'm totally fine. <laughs> okay. That was that was wasted, but I'm I'm okay with that. Um I mean I know what's coming, I know what, what kind of it's an expand build. I shouldn't worry too much currently, so I I'm fine, I would say. You know, so that's maybe maybe I yeah, that's that's the thing. So I can't scout right now, but pff, other than that I'm totally fine. So let's see. But I want to scout. I want to scout him. I need to scout. That's very important. You have to scout what's going on. So got a probe. Totally fine. Maybe I can get out. That would be awesome. So, more gateways, and I get out. Awesome. So now I need to make sure that I wall off, probably. I still still think if you if you play against Protoss, you should wall off uh, your natural. Like that. So, and that's the thing, I go in again, do all that stuff, and be totally fine. So, there we go. 
And he doesn't see it, look at that. And I pulled back. So that's that's totally fine. Of course I miss I messed up my barracks here. So that's not good, but other than that, that was okay, I would say. So we can now look for 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 anything bad to come. I could potentially attack again with the but I dealt so much damage either he goes all in now because he's so frustrated. Or he doesn't, so whatever. And that for me is the strength of this build. You are really strong with that build. So, repair. Stim timing. Okay. Maybe so. So that's totally fine. For me, currently. I, th I think I'm looking great. What I don't know because I lost the Reaper is if there is a base or not, but I can... I, at least I can assume there is. Which is not the right thing to do. You don't want to assume, you want to know, but... Sometimes it's just difficult. And you don't get a fixed amount of units. It's not that easy to estimate what kind of units you get. Just... just produce. Look, look, I failed with the combat shield. Massive mistake, because soon I want to attack, the stim is super late. So that's, that's all stuff which will definitely be bad for me. But uh, that's how it goes. So we move across the map now. You, if you, if you, if you have, look at that. Okay, so he pulls back, so that's totally fine. Okay. So... And then we get the command center. My attack is late now, I know. But that's not good. But look what he got! A Colossus, that's it. What does he want to do? So now he can he can do this, you see? Now he might be able to defend this. Or not, because he loses. And that's game. He played it way better with his execution. Compare to last, compare it to the last game, okay? With the timings, have them parallel, and look at the seven-minute mark. Probably uh, where I, where I am, where I'm standing, where I'm attacking, how my upgrades are. Maybe you get a glimpse on it. Um, try, try, try it. I mean, I go over it with the, with the replay. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so that's that. But but you see, you see the damage I can deal. The base was super late, the transition is bad because I'm in full attack mode, that's bad. But that's master level. If you are on GM, you can execute way better. Of course Protoss as well, but yeah. So he did scout. First of all he lost 13 probes. And that's again, look at that, I am ahead in worker. The shield battery is great against Benji. Uh, Marines, but against instant kill units like Vitamite, no chance. The shield battery won't do anything. So, eh. And the fact that I went for four barracks at the same time is really bad because you can do this more, more crisp, definitely. So, where is this observer? There it is. Currently he doesn't know anything, and I should have been way more active with the Raven. You know? But he doesn't... Yeah, he saw 4x and that's bad, so he knows... Uh-oh, attack. 
his problem is. Wait, what? 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 He did attack him. What? He attacked his own pro. Huh? Okay. What the heck? Nice. So he scouted. That's the next thing. If you're a Protoss, don't do what he did. You scout for barracks. That's not ma very macro oriented. That uh, at that time. Uh, I would say. Okay, I would say. So don't throw down two fortresses on three gateways. Go up to eight gates and crank out units. Because the army supply again is massively in my favor as well as the worker supply. All he can try to is get a third base before mine, defend as best as possible with, with the build I'm playing. You can do one frontal push. You also can, if you scan this army, see, mm, difficult. Maybe not on that map, but you could use the medivacs and drop different locations. You can use the, the raven for harassment. Drop down auto turrets here. Drop there. Have a small force here to attack and lure him out. This build, basically, for me, the more I think about it, is just plain awesome. You are probably quite safe because you open one reaper expand which is standard so you can adjust your build to whatever you scout you get a huge army supply early most protos play greedy at least in my league at least who, who i am playing um if he goes for storm it's a little bit more tricky because you can't attack uh, you can't attack them with the interference matrix that easily but it's possible i think they then can't even morph into archons because it prohibits all abilities. Wow, this spell is so strong. Only for 8 seconds. But still, 8 seconds in an RTS like StarCraft 2, that's that's so much time. So you you you're very flexible with this build, I would say. If you can if you can if you can uh, play this correct, like crisp, that really should help you out a lot. So we have the widow mines in, in case of, of that's that's smart, uh, but doesn't trigger. If he would have had blink stalker, like a lot of blink stalker, he could have sniped the raven. Um, that's that's very risky to have the raven out there. Against zealots, you have the widow mines. Then, if you have six widow mines, that would be even better. But normally, you have the factory producing reactor and tech labs nonstop for your barracks. At least I do. But now those units are useless. Still, still not done. It should have been done long time ago. Basically, what I would like to have is have stim finished, combat shields finished, and plus one finished at the same time when I attack. That's the goal. And you can have this at the seven minute mark, I think. With that force. It's possible. And then look what he got. 8 Stalker, 3 Zealots, 2 Sentries against 34 Marines and 8 Marauder? Okay, some of those are back here, but still, that's a lot of firepower. Like 24 Marines, a lot of Marauder, how many are there? 5 Marauder, they they have the single attack again, so they deal more damage. The Widow Mines, Raven, and you got like 4 from Medivacs, that's strong. And I can't ignore those low tier units because they don't ditch out enough damage if I kill the colors. So that's the thing, because Stim wasn't finished and because his force fields were good, I wasn't able to jump onto the colossus immediately. Now I go around. If he would if, if this if those colossus wouldn't attack one single auto turret, which is my saving grace, but would attack right into this chunk of army. I would have lost my whole army here and not traded as good as I would have needed to. But bad attack point, I can stim to win, du -du 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 -du, GG, that's, that's it. <sighs> like this build. Doesn't work that well against Zerg and doesn't work anyhow against Terran, but against Protoss it's quite strong. So thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed as always, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye. Heyo there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. 
Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions? Put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye bye.